So you got your canvas, a cool background, and now you just need to add text. Not a problem. Now the first thing that I would recommend is importing Text Mesh Pro. To do that, right click your canvas, UI, and Text Mesh Pro. If this is your first time, it'll ask you to import the package. Go ahead and say yes and yes to everything. Once you have done that, a text object will appear on your screen. You can control its position with the standard movement tools here. You can also control its rotation with the standard rot tools here. It will normally rotate from the center, but if you change the pivot point, it will rotate from that point instead. If you go to rec mode, you'll be able to drag the corners to change the width and height. And if you hold the shift key, it'll keep the proportions locked. But if you hold alt, it will mirror what you do on all sides. Generally, 99% of the time, you are gonna leave scale at 111. And anchors are real important, but we are gonna cover those in detail later in another tutorial. I'm honestly not sure what cold transparent does, but so far it's never affected anything for me. So if you figure out what it does, let me know in the comments. Here is where you decide the words that appear. RTL reverses your text. If you have other fonts you want to use, this is where you drag them in. You can set the words to bold, italic, underline, slash, lowercase, uppercase, or small caps. This number controls the font size, and if you click this box, it will automatically try and pick a font size that fills up the entire space. Vertex color changes the font color. Color gradient allows you to make the text fade from one color to another. So if you make the top left corner red, the top right blue, the bottom left green, and the bottom right red, that's exactly how the color of the text will transition. You can also switch it to transition horizontally from left to right or vertically from top to bottom. But if you have multiple texts and you want them all to share the same gradient, you can right click, create, text mesh pro, color gradient, set it to whatever you want, then click all the text objects that need to share it, make sure that gradient is checked, and drag your gradient in over here. And bam, now they're all using the same gradient. Under spacing, character increases or decreases the space in between each letter. Word does the same thing, but only for the distance between each word. Line affects the distance between a stack of sentences, and paragraph only affects the distance between groups and sentences. Under alignment, we have all the standard formats for left, centered, right, just to find stretch to fill each line, and geometry. And right underneath, we can have the text hug the top, the middle, the bottom, or these disjointed ones over here. Wrapping is normally enabled. If you disable it, the words will go out of bounds. And you can control what happens when the text go off screen with overflow. For example, if you set it to ellipsis, instead of going out of bounds, it'll just end with a dot 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 right before the cutoff. If you set it to truncate, it will just cut off at the boundary instead. Very rarely will you ever mess with the mapping or the extra settings, at least in my experience, but if you are a web developer, then you can control the margins and the extra pattern stuff with these settings over here. Softness makes your words blurry. The more dilated, the fatter your words. The less dilated, the skinnier they look. If you want an outline, you can check here. Then thickness determines how heavy it is, and color will set its hue. Underlay gives your words a shadow. Just like normal text, the softer, the more blurry, the more dilated the fatter. You can move the shadows left and right with X, or you can move them up and down with Y. And you can change the transparency or colors of the shadows over here. Now, the most common question people have is how do I change the fonts? Because if you've ever tried to do it yourself like a normal person, you'll find that Unity won't let you do it. But don't worry, I figured it out for you. Go to a website and download whatever font you want. Then drag the font into your assets folder in Unity. Then click it, right click, create text mesh pro and font asset. And it'll make a thing, and that's the thing that you drag into the font area. All right, now there's one last thing that I wanna show you, which is how to access these features through code. Because the first time I tried to figure it out, the code was stupidly hard to find. So let's say, for example, you want the text to represent the player's score. If you wanted to control the actual word content, the color, and the boldness in code, what would that look like? Well, first you would create a text mesh pro variable and int for your score. Save, and drag your text object into your variable. Then down here, to set the words, we would say my text dot text equals your score is whatever, plus your score variable up here. If you wanted to set it to bold, it would look like my text dot font style equals text mesh pro dot font styles dot bold. And if you wanted to change the color, it would look like my text dot color equals new color. And we're just gonna say one red, zero green, zero blue, and fully visible. If you save and run the game now, you will see that it adjusted everything exactly the way you told it. Now, let's say that you wanted to control stuff like the width, the height, the position, and scale of your text. How would you do that? Easy, you create a rec variable, save and drag your text object into your variable. From this point, if you wanna change the position, then the code for that is my rec.transform.local position equals new vector three, whatever. 
If you want to change the scale, the code for that is myrec.local scale equals new vector three, and we're just going to set it to one X, 0.5 Y, and one Z. And if you wanted to change the width or the height, the code for that is myrec.size delta equals new vector two, and we're just going to say 360X and 600Y. And now if you run and save the game, you will find those are now all the measurements for your text object. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. I'm a thing.